so today I am loving my curls <laughs> and I love this filter using my curls because it's really neat um, I go to have a fitting today for my costume I'm not actually gonna wear my hair for uh, Halloween I'm gonna be having a wig so I mean I'm really loving my hair for this day I mean I love my curls I love my natural curls and today is pretty good hair day for me not trying and I love that I'm also stopping keto today because my period really just needs something else I need to just get this period over with so I'm starting with soy today and only soy <laughs> I hate that though um, so I'll be having pumpkin lattes soy pumpkin lattes today and that's probably about it I'm gonna start by saying I have uh, stopped the keto diet. I said it earlier today, but now it's night. Um, all I had was a pumpkin latte. I had two spice pumpkin lattes. Um, I am taking cinnamon to keep my insulin from going up. Um, I've had 6,000 milligrams of cinnamon today. Um, I've started my period. Um, <laughs> I well I mean I'm on my period rather um, and I am uh, I had my fitting and my costume looks freaking phenomenal um, I think I'm gonna lose a lot of weight today uh, but as far as weight is concerned in the keto diet I lost total 14 pounds actually 15 pounds except for I've gained I've switched from the keto diet to liquid fast, obviously, today. Tomorrow is actually, I'm taking that day off. Um, I will be exercising all day. Um, and then I'm going to Chicago Mixtape event at um, Copper and Kings, which is going to be quite a bit of drinking. So um, I'm going to take tomorrow off. Um, I'm going to work out. Um, and then um, on the 25th, it's it's a big push day. I'm going to uh, uh, either do pineapples or liquid fast again, all the way up until the actual party. So that is going to be fun, I guess. Um, but I switched off of keto because literally I have been the same weight since the first eight so the reason I went off keto is because I have been the same weight basically since the first eight days. I lost all my weight then and then I've just been gaining it through water and losing it through water. So, I mean, what's the point? Um, I've been consistently the same, it's the same 14 pounds. I actually lost 15 but because I'm on my period. Does it matter? I, you know, I gained one. Uh, and I, you know today's like day 24 I believe and I want to have a certain look on the 27th with which is the actual party so if I'm suffering and I'm not gonna lose any more weight I need to switch it up so I, I, I'm doing soy right now um, and that is actually to push my period like let it like gush all the way I know that's gross um, and, and get it over with so yeah, soy isn't that good for you, and it's really bad for the women in my family, but it actually takes a lot of water weight off of me, and it, it actually makes us start our period early, um, and I was supposed to start on the day of the party. So I've been taking things like bromelain and other other stuff, uh, uh, chased berry to uh, cause me to come on my period but the thing that actually and I started but it wasn't like all the way all the way and until I drank that first sip of soy and it was like within 30 minutes ugh, I know that's gross but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do um, I'm not gonna be on my period for Saturday that would suck um, I also feel like I'll just leave. 
a strong desire to uh, break my plateau. Um, and I know that sometimes you really do have to switch up your diet. Um, you know, I'm going to actually do intermittent fasting after Halloween. And I'm actually coming up with a neat way to like lose the rest of my weight because, you know, it's the holidays and blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm going to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it. Um, so I'm going to have to switch some things up. But this is actually just for what I'm doing right now is just for the Halloween party, which is a Saturday. And I actually have some transformation pictures that are pretty cool. Um, and I will post those on Instagram. Amazing. Um, I think they're cool because, you know, I'm going through it. Um, but yeah, um, switch to liquids. And so I am all liquids today. And um, tomorrow I will have off because I'm going to an event at Copper and Kings. Yay. It's going to be a lot of fun. Chicago rap mixtape and a lot of mixed drinks and that's going to be fun. Um, and then either I'll go back on the diet on a, uh, I'll go back on um, liquid in on, on Thursday. <laughs> it's hard for me to think right now. And I will be on that until the party. Um, but I already, like I said, I have some great um, before and afters already. And they'll even be better once I transform into who I'm going to be. And you can follow me on Instagram to see those, that, those transformations. Um, I'm going to tell you a little story about why I am stopping the keto right now. Um, when I was living in LA, my sisters and I were on a diet. Um, I weighed more than anyone else. Um, and we seemed to take turns, the three of us. One is got to lose weight and the other two are super skinny. And actually, compared to what I am now, I was super skinny then, but I didn't see it that way. Um, I, had, I was doing low carb at the time, not keto, but low carb. And I had plateaued at 136 pounds, which actually looks extraordinarily good on me. And some women don't look good like that, but I looked amazing. But, you know, I was trying to meet a certain expectation for people. And um, I had been and I had been on the diet for pretty much two months. I had lost uh, quite a bit of weight first two weeks. And then the third week, um, I maybe lost maybe three pounds more and then nothing. Um, and I was suffering um, for a long time. I mean, literally, I, I was on for, I want to say two months, but it was probably three months nothing going up, nothing going down, um, trapped at that weight. And my sisters were like, they were doing whatever worked at that time. And when they plateaued, they would switch. And, you know, they had made their goal. Whereas I was being stubborn and this is a lifestyle and this is the way it should go and blah, 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 blah. But I mean, I I literally could have eaten whatever I wanted and lost more weight after that third week. Um, and I was miserable. Um, I had cut down my calories on a low carb, no carb diet. Now there were other things that were wrong. I, my body does not react well to sugar alcohols. I can't lose weight to it. My body actually acts allergic to it. I start holding water. And so that I was, I was substituting um, bars. I was having Atkins bars and that has a lot of sugar alcohols in it. And, but I didn't know at the time that my body reacted that way. But you know, my sisters, they would adjust. They would say, okay, I'm doing calorie counting. Okay, that stopped now I'll switch to, uh, uh, um, they would 
go from calorie counting to switching to liquid diet to, um, you know, not being on a diet, just working out. They would switch it up and they made their goals faster than I did. Meanwhile, I was trying to prove how much better than them I was by suffering. And I do that a lot. And the thing is, is it makes me no fun to be around. It makes me a horrible person. And um, I was miserable. I you know, Going to clubs in LA was hell on earth. I couldn't have a drink. I couldn't do anything. And I thought it made me seem like I was dedicated, but it just, it, it made me foolish because they were reaching their goal and I, I was trying to prove that I had discipline and discipline is not the goal. Um, like I was trying to say, discipline is not the goal. Weight loss is the goal here. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually a pretty disciplined person. I purposely do things that go against me being disciplined because I'm over disciplined. Um, so I have to do things that are chaotic um, just because I have to be flexible. And I wasn't being flexible then, and it cost me. It cost me a lot. Um, it, I did not have fun. And I think back to that time, and today I literally could have stayed on low carb if I wanted to. I, it was just one more day. I knew, I know I'm taking tomorrow off. So, I mean, why not? Well, why? Because I need my period to like be over with by Saturday. So I have to adjust. So I have to adjust and adjust I did. And you know, with all my clothes on, with my waist trainer on right now, and it is painful to have a waist trainer on while you have cramps it is no fun. Um, but I went to my fitting and I'm bloated and um, I still weigh less now than I did this morning. Um, so I did the right thing. Um, you have to adjust. I understand for many people keto is a lifestyle, but for me living is a lifestyle. I love food. I love Com people's company. I love my own company. I love eating by myself. There will be plenty of times you will see me out eating, dining alone. I go to movies by myself. I enjoy life with people, without people. What I, I enjoy life. What I don't enjoy is failing myself, failing my goals because of my inflexibility. Um, I like dieting. Um, and I like experiencing all kinds of diets. I've done vegan, you know, whatever. But, you know, sometimes I have to make adjustments. And I'm glad I stopped one day earlier than I had decided to. I've moved on to a different diet. I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm going to enjoy myself. And I'm going to do a crash diet for the last three days. I did my fitting. I loved how I looked. I'm gonna be amazing. And you should watch that. Um, you should go to follow me on Instagram and you will see this is gonna be cool. I wanted to be a little sexy. I do have one thing to say though. I did wanna be sexier and um, I, I actually should have told her to make more the, the, the um, Taylor to make more adjustments to the cleavage, but um, what she's done for me is amazing. So I'm 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 not gonna care. My sisters are bringing the sex appeal though, which is great for them. Um, but I'm going to be a god. So you'll see. It's it's gonna be amazing. I guess that's it for now. Um, Tomorrow, I will post what I eat um, on my day off, like I did last time. And then, then I will post until the 27th. And then the 27th, you'll see the transformation.